Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rick. It has been so long since I've actually recorded a video. Um, the most recent video I posted is probably recorded about a week, probably a little over a week ago from when I'm recording this. Uh, this is being recorded Monday night. I believe it is November 13th. Uh, you will be getting this sooner than later. Uh, and I have a few things I want to show you guys. And also I have some huge news. If you follow me on Instagram, you might already be aware of the news. Uh, I wore this shirt for the announcement, uh, Jay and Silent Bob. So, my big news is that I was contacted on Instagram, down the movie. If you guys haven't, the link is down below. Check it out, follow me. I was reached out by a podcast, Hollywood Boulevard Podcast, and they asked if I would do an episode. And I said, absolutely. Uh, we went back and forth, and I'm actually going to be on their, here's crazy, their uh, Kevin Smith episode, which is set to record on November 27th, two weeks from tonight. It does broadcast live. I will put a link down below in this video, and up until uh, the event, I will be posting it in all videos with a link. Um... It will be available afterwards to download on the website that will be down below, as well as iTunes. Once again, it's Hollywood Boulevard Podcast. And we're going to be discussing the movies of this guy right here, Kevin Smith. As you guys may have known, if you watched the channel for a little while, I am a big Kevin Smith fan. Uh, I went to his secret stash with my girlfriend a few months ago. I've watched Kevin Smith movies for a long time now, like 20 years, and... I love his stuff, most of it, <clears throat> and uh, I'm excited to be given the opportunity to be invited to do a uh, podcast and be asked to be a guest. It's I was in shock for a few days after they asked me, uh, and it is happening. It is being recorded two weeks from tonight, so like I said, you can listen to it live. I believe it's 6.30 Eastern Standard Time on November 27th. Uh, if you can't make it live, there will be a download of it on their site as well as on iTunes. Like I said, I do want to show you guys a couple things, but the announcement was the big part of this video. I have not really been doing much hunting. Uh, I've been very busy. <clears throat> I wasn't home for about a week. I was doing some things uh, with family and with my girlfriend. So there wasn't much hunting. Um, between... Now, in the last time I filmed, I've only really picked up one thing. That is uh, Colin Quinn's Long Story Short on Blu-ray. I grabbed it at Goodwill for $2. I haven't even taken the sticker off yet. So, that is pretty cool. Uh, I guess it is a one-man show. I thought it was a stand-up special, but it is a one-man show. So, that is very cool. The other thing that is new and exciting is what's in this box here. Um... A lot of you guys have been asking me about how I find stuff on Facebook. I literally go into the marketplace maybe once a week, once every other week. I search certain areas. Um, I search my local area first, and that's pretty much tapped out uh, because I try to hit that area up more often. And then I expand out, and I look at different areas. I see what kind of stuff is available. I ask people if things are smoke-free, if they're scratch-free. If they're willing to ship, if I pay for shipping, and I've gotten some really awesome deals. You guys saw the two big batches of stuff that was all factory sealed. And then I came across this, and once again, it was a too good to be true situation. Um, I have cut this open just because I wanted to make sure it was what it was supposed to be. So I just received this today. Uh, this was advertised for $4. I paid, the person shipped it a uh, media mail, so the shipping on it cost $2.63, so I paid $6.63 for a title I needed. Um, I think I'm one or two movies short in having the whole collection up into uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. The Avengers Age, Age of Ultron uh, 3D Steelbook, Blu-ray Steelbook. Factory sealed, uh, doesn't look to have any scratches or issues with it, no scratches on the spine. It's the Avengers Age of Ultron Steelbook, $6.60. So, 
awesome. I think it sells for like 20 or $30 on eBay, but like I said, I really needed this um, to round out my collection. I think the only things I don't have are Thor The Dark World and Iron Man 3, which are kind of too weird. I've never seen Thor The Dark World. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited to have this in the collection now. Um, what else? I, I feel like I haven't done this in a while. I want to talk to you guys. Um, th there's things going on within uh, the YouTube life that's kind of crazy right now. Uh, some friends are having issues with demonetization. I don't really get that. I'm not there yet. Um, and, and just the issues with that. And it really sucks. Uh, I like doing this for you guys. I'm not monetized at all. Um, I don't have enough views yet. I'm close. Uh, since the last time I recorded this video, I'm over 300 subs. I'm in about 315. I think I'm like less than 1,500 views from being able to qualify for monetization, although it would be pennies because I don't produce enough views yet. Although there are some of you guys who check out all my stuff and I am so appreciative. I love making the videos. Um, but yeah, just some people who spend time and uh, hard work and I don't know what, what's wrong with the system. I haven't experienced issues yet, but I'm sure it'll happen eventually. Um, I've checked out a few things in the movies. I went and saw Jigsaw. I went and saw Murder on the Orient Express. Jigsaw I thought was awful. I gave it a 1 out of 5 stars. You can read my mini review on Letterboxd, which will be down below. Uh, Murder on the Orient Express was okay. I gave it a 3 out of 5. It was enjoyable. I probably would never watch it again. The cast was great, but the movie was just meh. I mean, it, it was meh. Um, I will hopefully be going to see Thor Ragnarok very soon. Uh, I really want to see it. I'm looking forward to seeing that. And uh, yeah, so that's it for now, guys. Hopefully I will do some hunting in the near future uh, because I don't really have anything else coming my way right now. Um, so yeah, so like I said, things have been kind of hectic, but wanted to say hey to you guys, post this video, the big news about the podcast, like I said, the link will be down below for the podcast, the link will be down below for my Instagram, all that stuff can be found down below, Letterbox, where you can see all my uh, ratings and reviews of movies, and I think that's about it guys, I'm gonna watch some TV, uh, do some laundry, have a relaxing night, and uh, yeah. So, uh, like I said, hit the like button down below. Be sure to hit subscribe. I'm going to keep producing new content for you guys. Keep checking it out. Uh, keep leaving me feedback. I love interacting with you guys. Most of you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, and yeah, that's it, guys. So, uh, until next time, who's down the movie?